Hello, my name is Dr. Farman Ali and I'm a GP and a family physician. Today we'll be talking about a very important topic called contraception. So what is contraception? Contraception is basically the process of taking steps to ensure that you do not become pregnant when you have sex. There are many options to do that and they all have their pros and cons as well as varying success rates. I will be talking about the most commonly used contraceptive method. Injections Progesterone only injection contraceptives. This is basically the same hormone which is called progesterone but it is a long-acting reversible contraceptive. A synthetic progesterone is injected into the muscles or into the subcutaneous tissue. So how does it work? Its mechanism of action is similar to the progesterone only pill. It suppresses ovulation. It makes the lining of the womb less favorable for implantation and it increases the viscosity or the thickness of the mucus at the cervix which makes it difficult for the sperm to penetrate the cervix. So what are the benefits of injectable contraceptive? They are very effective and convenient. It's one injection every 12 weeks for the types known as Depo Provera, every 13 weeks for Cyana Press, and every 8 weeks for Noristerite. There is a very low failure rate. They can be used during breastfeeding. Amenorrhea, which is, means absence of periods, is common. This may be advantage, advantageous for certain women who would like to their heavy periods to stop. So what are the problems with injectable contraceptives? It is not quickly reversible. There is a return to fertility time when you stop the injections. There is an associated small loss of bone minerals also known as osteoporosis. Hence it is not advisable in women under the age of 18 unless there is no other option. Menstrual irregularities are common but we need to educate the women that it usually settles with time and they should be counseled about that. Weight gain approximately 2 to 3 kilograms in one year may occur. Women with a higher BMI more than 30 may not be suitable for them. Delayed return to fertility up to, can take up to an year and possible increased risk of breast cancer. However, this is only a weak association with that. Thank you very much.